Hey guys, my name is Linz and today we're going to be reviewing some Frank Body skincare. Before we get started, thank you so much for watching and if you have an Instagram account, make sure to follow my handle. It's at Linz Rosso. I cover topics mostly on fashion, beauty, and skincare, a lot of hair care products as well. Um, a couple weeks ago, I asked my Instagram audience which products they're most interested in seeing a review and Frank Body won. So I have a few products by them we're going to review. If you're unfamiliar with Frank Body, they're an Australian brand and they're famous for their body scrub. It's like a coffee body scrub and a few years ago, it was delivered in these like manila paper bags and they're just like a huge company that's delivered amazing results through digital marketing. Their campaigns, their branding is so on point and they've done extremely well with the coffee scrub. Being a blogger myself, I'm surprised I haven't tried this sooner. Um, it is really great and we're gonna get into a little bit more of each product, but today I'm going to be reviewing the coffee scrub, the vitamin C mask, and then their Porific kit. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to mention is obviously I am not a dermatologist, I'm not a skin professional. I am a blogger and I do try a lot of different skincare, so I do have a gauge on what kind of products I like and don't like. If, for reference, um, I do have like acne prone skin, I have PCOS, which is a hormone imbalance. I get terrible acne on my chin right now, I'm having a pretty bad flare. Um, I think because of the dairy I ate last weekend, not because of the products, but I have been testing these products for about two weeks now. So let's start with the number one product by Frank Bod, and that is their coffee scrub. So this is the packaging here. It comes in this like plastic Ziploc bag. Um, I don't know why, but I really am not a fan of the packaging. I've just had other coffee scrubs that come in like a plastic container with a lid, and I just found using this in the shower because it's all dry inside. It was just kind of like I was worried that water was going to get in and that if it fell over it would be a huge mess because this isn't very sturdy. I was worried about it like falling over. So I do wish it came in a plastic container. I know it's not as eco-friendly, but I mean, I'm sure there's a way to get a sustainable packaging that is a little bit better. I do appreciate the amount of product. This comes with 200 grams. Of product which is great and it only retails for $17 Canadian which is amazing um, I did love the product itself it leaves your skin super soft it really rids any dirty or not dirty <laughs> any dry skin it gets rid of so it leaves your skin feeling really smooth and fresh I would suggest um, using your body wash after the scrub not vice versa just because it does have such a strong coffee scent I love coffee personally but um yeah, it really kind of like plumps up your skin, makes it really smooth. I would just say that um, I wish it had better packaging, but again, I do appreciate how much product there is in the package. And just for a note, it says that it is cruelty-free, made in Australia, it's a waterproof bag, and there's eucalyptus, macadamia oil for hydration and antibacterial and kakadu plum for brightening. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I would say I do really like this product. Again, just wish it was a bit of a different package. Next product, which is actually a set, is the Porific um, skincare line. So it comes with a gentle creamy face scrub, a everyday face moisturizer, along with a creamy face cleanser. This actually surprised me. Um, first of all, it's a very fair price. So for an entire skincare routine, essentially, it's only $50 Canadian. So you get a scrub, which you'd probably use like maybe once or twice a week that really rids like dirty, why do I keep saying that? It, it rids dead skin along with an everyday cleanser and then an everyday moisturizer as well for $50 Canadian. That's a very fair price. I also love the packaging much better than the coffee scrub. It's easy to use. The branding's cute. Um, I will say the cleanser I was surprised. It's actually like a black consistency. I expected it to be like a white cleanser. Um, so it must have traces of charcoal, but it is a really nice gentle cleanser for every day. It didn't irritate my skin. Um, yeah, it was really nice. The 
face scrub, I won't lie. It feels a little bit harsh, so I go to a Medi Spa and they're like, don't touch the St. Ives Apricot Scrub, like, be careful with scrubs, be very gentle. I've been using Saturday Skin, um, their scrub, which is really gentle, so it gets rid of the, um, skin and, and like, dead skin and exfoliates without really hurting it. I did find that this scrub was quite harsh on the skin, and to be honest, the smell is awful. It smells like I don't even know how to describe it just not nice I'm not a fan of scented skincare anyways but the natural scent on this is really kind of gross so I hope that maybe eventually they'll mask it but I mean it gets rid of the dead skin and it really if it really exfoliates your skin so it does the job I'm just a little bit concerned that it might be a bit harmful to your face and I think my favorite product out of all three is the Everyday Face Moisturizer. I have really, really dry skin. And I found, like, you only need a little bit of product. A little bit of product goes a long way, and it really moisturized my skin. The first day I used this set, when I woke up the next morning, my skin was so hydrated. I just, like, splashed my face with water, whereas I usually do another morning, um, like, cleanse and, like, I add serums to my face and whatnot, and my skin felt so amazing, so I actually just added a little bit of SPF to my face and went on with my day. But yeah, I think I'm super, super impressed by the moisturizer, mostly. And again, all these products are cruelty-free and made in Australia. I love that. They're recyclable products as well, and I think the prices are so fair. If you're looking for an easy, everyday skincare routine, this is a great introduction. It's very fair. The cost per use is amazing, and yeah, it's great. I would just be careful about the scrub. And the last product is the Brightening Vitamin C Mask. This mask retails for $20 Canadian. I love a face mask like I use face masks at least three times a week I review a new face mask on my Instagram almost every week and I was pleasantly surprised by this I've tried some pretty high-end skincare and I thought that this was an amazing mask so essentially this mask it's a gel consistency it plumps your skin it brightens your skin and it makes it feel really clean hydrated and the cost per use again is amazing. I loved the packaging. It comes in this plastic applicator and there is 50 milliliters in this bottle, which again is great cost per use. It's only 20 Canadian. A lot of um, comparable products like this are in the $60 range. I personally loved this. The mask is made in Australia, cruelty free, it's meant to be used with SPF, and it's only a five minute mask. So after your skincare or after a shower, you can just throw it on your face. Keep it on for five to 10 minutes. I kept mine on a little bit longer, to be honest. And when I washed it off, it was so smooth. It was just so plump. It made my skin feel great, and I was very pleasantly surprised. Again, I only know Frank Bod for their coffee scrub, so I was like, a face mask, really? But I was pleasantly surprised. It, they have great ingredients, great packaging, it's cruelty-free, it's inexpensive, and it's great cost per use. Honestly, I think there's so many things to love about this product, and I definitely would repurchase this again. So that's my quick little review. I am pleasantly surprised by most of the products. I have very sensitive skin, so I don't think the cleanser and scrub quite cut it for me. I loved the moisturizer, I loved the mask, and for a body scrub, I love the Frank Bod body scrub as well. Especially going into the winter months, my skin gets so dry, so that'll be really handy for me to have in my shower over the next few months but yeah that is my review my rating for frank bod skincare is a 7 out of 10 i love their branding i loved most of their packaging i loved the products as a whole and was pleasantly surprised by the products considering their price point i think this is a great introductory line for someone who's not well versed in a skincare routine i think this is a great starting point for someone and yeah, I'm excited to try any new products they come out with. And I just want to thank Frank Bod for sending over this PR. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for another quick review on...
skincare, hair, fashion, whatever the next video may be. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!